what an amazing week in the world of AI. In this week's news, we have some amazing chat GPT upgrades, OpenAI acquiring global illumination that makes open source Minecraft clones, Nvidia partnering up with Hugging Face, self-driving cars, Stability AI releasing a new language model called Stable Code for coding means, and so much more as we dive deep in the incredible news that is there in the world of AI. Starting off with our first story, we have OpenAI introducing GPT Bot. Now, this is a specialized program that can gather information from the entire internet. Now, if you were to use ChatGPT to source current news or information on certain topics, there would be a message that would be displayed from ChatGPT when you were to generate something that would basically state that there is a knowledge cutoff date as of September 2021. However, with this GPT bot, there will be now up-to-date data and information being straight delivered to you as you generate certain things with ChatGPT in real time. Now, this is something that they've done as they have many upcoming models such as to the GPT-5 model, as well as this existing model of GPT-4, which they tend to evolve. But with this GPT bot, it has been programmed to avoid to source the infringing or private privacy issues of certain types of content that might be behind paywalls which basically ensures that it is only used appropriately and it is accessible so it is basically used for the right reasons and for the right training purposes. Now this development is something that marks a significant step forward in enhancing AI capabilities by incorporating a wide range of internet based knowledge while maintaining ethical considerations. Moving on to our next story, we have OpenAI acquiring Global Illumination. Global Illumination is known for its expertise in creating realistic lighting and visual effects in computer graphics, particularly in virtual environments like video games. We can see that they've done a great job in creating an open source clone of Minecraft. Now just take a look at this video example. This acquisition is basically suggesting that OpenAI is aiming to enhance the virtual realism and immersive experience of its AI applications, which is basically potentially impacting various domains on different fronts. Now, in terms of OpenAI's future development, incorporating this new company that they've just acquired, as well as its technology, could basically lead to a more realistic and engaging virtual world in AI applications which is something that could improve realism for virtual training environments for different AI models as well as making them more effective at learning from diverse and complex scenarios. So this just goes to show that this is a new groundbreaking move that OpenAI is working towards as it evolves the world of AI even further. On to the next story. At the SIGGRAPH conference, NVIDIA announced that their DGX cloud product will be implemented into the Hugging Face ecosystem, which will empower millions of developers with generative AI supercomputing tech for larger models as well as advanced AI applications. One of the most biggest problems that is out there for developers is that there is a lack of graphic cards as well as it being too pricey. However, with this new partnership, as well as this integration of eight NVIDIA H100 or A100 GPUs, as well as 640 GB of GPU memory, you will be able to develop AI apps and larger models on Hugging Face so much easier and efficiently. Now, on the blog post, NVIDIA had stated that by giving developers access to NVIDIA DGX Cloud AI supercomputing within Hugging Face platform to train and tune advanced AI models, the combination will help supercharge industry adoption of generative AI using LLMs that are custom tailored with business data for industry specific applications including intelligent chatbots, search and summarization. On the topic of the SIGGRAPH conference, NVIDIA also introduced multiple AI products that is 
basically innovating the world of AI, but there is one product that stuck out to me the most, and that is the release of their new chip that is called the GH200 for massive memory supercomputing for emerging AI projects. Now, the GH200 chip is designed to handle terabyte class models for generative AI by offering 144 terabytes of shared memory with linear scalability for giant AI products and models. So this is absolutely insane and it just goes to show that the world of AI is slowly but surely innovating and growing as the days pass by. Now guys, I would really appreciate it if you guys can go check out the Patreon page with the link in the description below as you can get access to our full vibrant Discord community in which you will get the latest partnerships, networking opportunities, the latest AI news, as well as engaging in a lot of different things. So definitely check this out. Now if you guys haven't followed the world of AI on Twitter, please do so so you can stay up to date with the latest AI trends. And if you guys haven't subscribed, please do so, turn on notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos. Now there is a company that is called Cruise and it has officially introduced its self-driving vehicles which makes a significant step forward in autonomous transportation. Now this company has initially started testing these vehicles in Atlanta in line with its larger objective of extending a robo taxi service to various cities. Now Cruise expansion plan is a comprehensive encompassing data gathering and testing efforts across the entire nation. And this move basically will underscore Cruise's commitment to advancing the development and the deployment of its self-driving technology, which will definitely innovate as the time and days pass by. Moving on to our next story, we have Stability AI, which has made a new exciting announcement by introducing Stable Code. Now, Stable Code is their very first large language model generative AI product that is specifically for coding needs. And this product has been designed to assist programmers with their daily work while also providing a great learning tool for new developers who are ready to take their skills to the next level. Now, if we scroll down on their blog post, we can see that OpenAI Human Eval Benchmark has been able to showcase that their new stable code is able to outperform the other coding large language models that are out there such as star coder base and replic coder in terms of its benchmark of coding needs google has unveiled an exciting new initiative called project idx this project introduces an ai powered browser-based development environment which is specifically designed for creating web and multi-platform applications this announcement holds great significance for developers as Project IDX has the potential to bring about substantial advancements in the way applications are built and developed. Now with its AI capabilities and focus on accessibility through web browsers, Project IDX promises to be a game changer in the world of application development. Take a look at this new cool tool that is called Junkbox AI, where it's able to utilize its tool to animate certain types of movements and replicate celebrities to dance in a certain type of way with its new AI animation tool. Now, this is quite scary as it's able to replicate their facial structure, their personality, their body type, skin color, and so much more. Now, how many celebrities were you able to count throughout this video? Let me know in the comment section below. Lastly, Alibaba has taken a significant step by open sourcing their own large language model called Quen, which stands as a competitor to ChatGPT. Now, by making Quen accessible to third-party developers, Alibaba has enabled them to build their own AI application without the need to train their own system from scratch. Now, this strategic move positions Alibaba to basically have a direct competition with Meta and it has the potential to pose a challenge to ChatGPT. Now, if you want to get more ideas as to what Quen is about, I covered this on my video of what Quen large language model is about. 
as well as going more in depth with its data sets as well as how you can access it. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave this link in the description below. And that basically concludes today's video on the news that we covered from the past week in the world of AI. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to check out previous week's AI news, I highly recommend that you check this out with the link in the description below, as well as the other links that showcases different things that we talked about throughout today's video. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Definitely follow the Twitter page if you guys haven't already. Turn on the notification bell so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI trends. Now, if you guys want to become a Patreon, definitely do so by taking the link take a look at the link in the description below so that you can access our vibrant discord community and with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it make sure you share it around like this video subscribe and turn on the notification bell and check out our previous videos as there's a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from so with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas